आर यू अभिमन्यू सुपर शर्ली एंड साबिर खान द वन हुज डायरेक्टेड द फिल्म ये बहुत अच्छी अच्छी फिल्में डायरेक्ट कर चुके हैं टाइगर uh, श्रॉफ की जो बड़ी फ्रेंचाइज uh, हैं वो सब इन्होंने ही डायरेक्ट की हैं कम वक्त इश्क तो आपको याद ही होगी बहुत अच्छी एक्शन फिल्म थी अलेट मी स्टार्ट विद यू अभिमन्यू कहते हैं आप भाग्यश्री के बेटे हैं लेकिन आपने अपनी फिल्म सही कहते हैं हिमालय एंड भाग्यश्री कुछ भी देखते हैं तो ये चाय भी अलग बन जाती है सडनली चाय में भी ऐसे ड्रॉपलेट स्लो मोशन में आ जाते हैं कोई एक्शन होता है साउंड इफेक्ट आ जाता है अरे सो अभिमान यू फर्स्ट यू टेल मी हाउ हैज द इंडस्ट्रीज वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट यू चेंज आफ्टर योर फर्स्ट फिल्म फॉर्चुनेटली माय फर्स्ट फिल्म स्ट्रक अकॉर्ड विद मोस्ट पीपल हु आर पैशनेट अबाउट सिनेमा सो a lot of producers directors uh, people that i really admire hmm. like sabir sir um, really enjoyed hmm. uh, not only the whole film just my first trailer the hmm. 45 second cut of a single shot trailer hmm. no one had ever seen that before yeah um, so yeah there was a lot of respect ever since then that uh, that i received and it was nice to see a lot of people that i admire now i'm on one on one terms with with most of them and and uh, it's just you know anything can happen so it's good to take risks in this industry it's good to take risks in any industry that has paid off very well for you yeah. right great but now after your this is your third film yes ma'am and now you've come back to the grind the commercial fort boiler huh. <laughs> because the director that you who's directing you yeah. is of course sabir khan let Bilkul. me come to you mr Ji. khan aapne bahut saal industry mein bitaye hain You were actually technically born in. Bo- are you? Were you born in Bombay? Uh, yeah, I yes. was. And your father was a lyricist. Was a lyricist. Yeah. Wow, what? What's his name? Uh, Noor Devasi. He wrote uh, a lot of songs in the late 60s, early 70s for music composers like Opie Nair and S. D. Burman. Wow. Really? Yeah. Tell me yeah. a song. Yeah. आ हुजूर तुमको सितारों में ले चलो. Oh my God! Wow. So my father's written for Brilliant. Babita ji and for Brilliant. Karishma. Devasi is because he's from Devas. from mp okay. so uh, poets and uh, you know how they like to keep their yeah, uh, yeah where they from yeah, yeah like yeah. like manzar yeah. bhopali and kidar yeah, muradabad yeah. so noor devasi yeah. to chaliye kyunki shirley film ki jo actress hain wo ek singer hain aur bahut celebrated singer hain to sabse pehle hum noor devasi sahab ka hi jo gana tha aap ki zuban se sunenge ha ho huzur tumko sitaro mein le chalu दिल झूम जाए बहारों में चलूर सच ए टेरिफिक रेंडिशनैलिटी बिकॉज आई ग्रोन अप विद दिस सॉन्ग There was not one single sur which was yes. out of and she oh, just sweet. trying <laughs> it. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. 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 while i was studying i was also uploading videos on youtube mm-hmm. uh, which is why when i came here for that one year uh, people had ka, already known about ha me. yeah and then i i could start to record songs and i did the t series mixtape and you know uh, Wonderful. my other singles after that so how nice it's uh, savitri let me ask you uh, you have uh, been directing films for so long <laughs> yeah. hero panti baghi munna michael of course come waqt yeah. you worked with from akshay to Uh, Tiger Shroff yeah. to Ab- Abhimanyu. What is that spark in a newcomer or a young boy or a girl who wants to make it in the movies that attracts a director? See, there is a certain X factor hmm. that filmmakers would suddenly see in uh, an actor. Uh, only they know. Hmm. Uh, I, I will not be able to describe it to a lay person hmm. because that's it comes with time and experience hmm. to see those things. Uh, so there are. A s- there are some skills that the actor has mm. uh and there, then there is that uh, space 
to absorb more material and that willingness to go all out for that certain part hmm. that I will put in my like when I met Abhimanyu and we were just chatting my first few questions to him and even to Shirley were how serious are you about your own career? You asked me this. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, remember I asked Abhimanyu and for a filmmaker it's very important to understand that here are two people who nice. whose dream is this and they want to go after it with everything they've got. Hmm. So that's one set, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tick tick box. Hmm. Then the other thing is, do they fit the part? Okay. Of course they fit the part. Hmm. And then you realize how is that journey going to be with them? Are yes. you going to enjoy building something together? Because hmm. the way I work is, I have a very informal way of working. I hmm. don't make it a point that I am directing you. Hmm. It doesn't work that way with me. Yeah. My thing is we are doing this together. Yeah. Hmm. So I will have a lot of conversations with my actors about what I need and what the character needs Lovely. and then give them the space to come and do it. So a lot of things go into that and when mm. once I feel there is a comfort that mm. we can take this for months, this journey mm. to a year or something, mm. that's how it happens. You have to be comfortable and there's a gut instinct that comes. How wonderful. And Abhimanyu, um, uh, I think there is a certain lens through which people have started viewing you now. Mm. Uh, you're very different from the other people from your generation, other boys. And I think even as a viewer, when I look at your films and just your pictures mm. on Google, I think yeah, kuch alag hai. that's a great sign. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's a great sign. You never come across as a person who's actually been born in the industry. Mm. I don't see any typical industry traits in like? you. I, like he said, I can't describe it. You come across but that's true. Yeah, he doesn't come across MPR because he's, he's, he's a self-made person. Yeah. Uh, from the time I first interacted with him, uh, I, he came across as a self-made person who was doing it for himself. Mm. Didn't come from any sort of you know with with an air or something. Mm. And that's what I probably I connected you know yeah. with. Yeah. But you know, ek, um, uh, I watch a lot of motivational YouTube videos and there is a there is actually a video on this concept called Nikamma. Uh, there is a plant which you have to give a lot of water you give it for 5-6 suddenly bloom. So, sometimes some human beings are like this, which you have to invest on it. Then, they suddenly show you results. And in our world, in our society, this word is coming from there. It means, nikamma means, that the human being doesn't give results. It seems to us as nikamma. In which you are only investing on it. Oh, very interesting. That aspect, he bought into it because nikamma means you don't do anything and when you don't do anything, you're probably daydreaming. So, that's where the daydreaming comes in. Uh, there are a lot of layers to this character yeah. also that uh, which is pretty amazing. So this I call this an unconventional commercial film mm. because the plot, the core, hai, it is not a normal love story which is usually in a nice. commercial film. Here yeah. are Indian traditional values and the relationship between a Devar and Bhabi. Mm. It's a love-hate relationship and how uh, this boy Adi who mm. is a Nikamma uh, comes of age mm. to realize who he is, what his responsibilities are and who he needs to become. Mm. at the moment and, mm. and I feel all of us in life at some point we go through it you know it's not we're not one night wonders it takes five years for that one night to happen mm. you know so it's a I feel it's a it's a it's a story about every single person mm. you know when they've been in the nikamma phase or jab wo ladki se aurat bante hai ladke se aadmi bante hai they realize something in them something because of some uh, stimuli in the environment or the situation that they yeah. have faced and this is that mm. this is to remind you in the last two years mm. even though you felt like a nikamma wrong things have happened to you mm. this is your chance Ab aapki bari hai. Uh, Sabir ji as a director what do you think is the biggest pillar of emotion on which every most of the Hindi films rest on love yeah? love is the most universal language and I think most of what we do I think almost of what whatever we do mm. is because of love. Yeah. It could be the love of uh, <coughs> a beloved, mm. or for the family, or a friend, or. Uh, but it, the core emotion is love. That's what makes the world the go round. The human story is most yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, the human story is so important, and we are actually we are all aimless without love. Yeah. There's yeah. something in us from the time we wake up in the morning. There is a drive because of that factor called love. It's unseen, but that's what drives us. So I think the typical sci-fi thrillers are still not a very popular genre in India because I think still the human story is most important. Yeah, but I even even in the even in the West, when you see a very famous sci-fi film, at the core, the yeah. human relation is the most important story. Yeah. Most yeah. Important. yeah. Well, for example, Rocky, everyone thinks is a boxing action movie. But it's, it's not. A, it's a yeah. romantic yeah. film. Yeah. No, it's a romantic film. You call it a romantic film. It is. It has about what seven, eight minutes of action yeah. in the whole film. 
ET, for example, yeah. ET, ET is the relationship, yeah. beautiful relationship between an alien and a small uh, nice. group of young children who they think that they are friends. It's, a, it's okay. actually a love story. True, true, true. Amazing. बहुत बढ़िया ये तो बहुत अच्छा perspective actually आपने दिया. All the best to you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. So much. you.